I'm Thomas Tedder from Old Faithful Holsters. We help gun owners conceal their weapons comfortably and easily. In this video, I'm going to show you what you get in a Stage 3 holster kit and how to complete it. The Stage 3 kit takes about 15 minutes to complete and is the easiest of all of our kits to put together. If you can take your gun apart and clean it, you can put together a Stage 3 kit. All Stage 3 holster kits come with premium, drum dyed 10 to 12 ounce cowhide leather. You'll be amazed at how nice this leather is and how it's compared to our competitors. The leather in this kit has all the holes punched and is ready to go. Your Kydex is molded, cut to shape, sanded, smoothed, and drilled. It's the .093 Kydex, which is 50% thicker and about 100% stronger than the .060 used by most other companies. You get two very sturdy steel clips. They're so strong that you'll never have to worry about your holster staring, staying where it should. You'll also get plenty of hardware to put it all together. In fact, you'll have leftovers when you're finished. Now that covers what you get. Now, I'm going to show you how to put it all together. First, we'll prepare the leather. We need to pound the T-nuts in through the back. They're threaded, and this is what the screws will screw into. You'll have to use a good amount of force to get these into the leather, because we need to embed these little spikes. This is necessary so that the T-nut doesn't turn when the screws are tightened. The T-nuts will protrude slightly through the front of the leather when they are fully inserted, so you'll need to make sure that you don't just bang this down on a hard surface. We include a piece of leather with a hole punched in the center to make installing the T-nuts easier. Line up the hole in the leather backing with the hole in the scrap leather and put the T-nut in the hole. Give it a good whack with the hammer. Try your best to come down straight and not at an angle. If you don't get it fully seated on the first whack, hit it again until it's all the way in. Now continue this for every single hole until they each have a T-nut installed. Now that the hard part's out of the way, all we have to do is screw it together. You should have three or four different size screws and spacers. Each spacer size will complement a screw size. It's best to separate all of the screws and spacers into separate piles so that you don't confuse them. You'll want to start with the medium sized screws and spacers for the shell. If you have a ruler, they are the 5 8 inch screws. Now place a spacer on the post for all four T-nuts in the center of the leather. They will be sticking above the leather, so you can just twist them on. Now place your shell on the spacers. Screw the shell down snug and be sure to use a finishing washer with each screw. If you can't get the screw to reach the T-nuts, or if the screw goes all the way through the back of the T-nut with little tension, you have used the wrong size spacer. Now attach the belt clips using half-inch screws and the appropriate spacers. Give the holster a quick tension check by grabbing the holster with an unloaded pistol in it. Squeeze the holster with one hand while pulling the pistol out with the other. This simulates the pressure from a belt. It should come out with some drag, but not be too tight or too loose. Turning the holster upside down with a pistol in it is not a good test because your tension is changed by your belt. You can tighten the tension by tightening the screws, and you can loosen the tension by loosening the screws. If you have tightened the screws so much that they protrude from the bottom of the T-nuts, you will need to switch to a shorter screw and spacer. If you don't get at least three complete 360 degree turns into the T-nut before the tension is too tight, you will need to switch to a longer screw and spacer. Now put the holster on and try, to tension, and try the tension again. Adjust the holster again to get the desired tension. After the leather has broken in, the holster may get looser. Lucky for you, your Old Faithful Holsters adjustable tension system can easily adapt. Holsters with rivets instead of screws have no solution for a broken in holster that gets looser. So with ours, just adjust the tension screws tighter again and switch to a shorter screw if the screw sticks out through the bottom of the T-nut. After your break in, your screws shouldn't move. But if you want to be extra sure, you can use a little clear nail polish or some Loctite on them. If you've opted for black leather, you may have noticed that the drum dyed leather has a tan stripe along the outer edge. A sharpie will give you a great looking finish here. Just don't use dye because it may come off on your clothes, but a sharpie won't. One last note and we'll be all finished. 
The back of the leather may have a stiff edge until it is broken in. If this bothers you, just round it out with some sandpaper and then color it back in with a sharpie again. That's it for this video. Enjoy your new Old Faithful holster.